first find the part of engineering, if you're going to be an engineer, that really interests you. So uh, engineering needs lots of patience and, uh, and lots of crying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My name is Louis Aguilar. I've been at Mobis for seven years now. I'm the senior manager of the LAMP group for North America. Basically, my group uh, designs and develops uh, headlights and taillight systems for North American customers. I've been in lighting for a little over 25 years now. North American Lighting First. Vistian, a little stint in I.I. Stanley, and then I spent 15 years at uh, Automotive Lighting North America, which is now known as Morelli, and then I came here, so to Mobis. Yeah. You know, I was at uh, Automotive Lighting for 15 years, so I needed a bit of a change, right? So I was looking out for good opportunities. And at that time, I had worked with Mobis in the past. So I came in 2017, um, but since 2006, I had worked with Mobis as a joint partnership with Morelli and Mobis. So I already knew a lot of the team from North America at Mobis. And um, when the opportunity opened up for me to start my own group, that's why I decided to come to Mobis. Basically, I had always worked at companies where the structure had been established. When I came to Mobis, the group was only three people. So they had two optic engineers and one CAD designer, that's it. So I saw this as an opportunity to build a team myself from the ground up. So that's what I've been doing for the past seven years. My team consists of three major groups, the structure group, the optic group, and the electronic group. The structure group, basically, we have structure engineers, system engineers, they basically take care of the whole system. The structure team also has CAD designers, so we develop the CAD as well. The optic team develops all the optical prescriptions, they come up with the optical solutions, they work very closely with the structure team and the electronic team in order to make sure that everything performs correctly, um, that it's legal, um, and that it meets the customer specification. And then the electronic team has to make it all work. So they work very closely with optics to make sure it's powered correctly, make sure the behavior is correct. Um, those are the three major teams, structure, optic, and electronic. One of the biggest asks from HQ uh, to me was to expand the customer base. So when I first got here, Stellantis was the only customer for Mobis in North America. While I've been here, we added Rivian, which is an electric vehicle company in North America. They're based out of California. And we also added Volkswagen. Currently, we're in discussions with Ford and GM. Pretty soon, we'll add two more customers. So that's for me, the, the best achievement. The biggest challenge is when you get into a lamp project, you have to have the entire team ready to go and trained. You know, we've had to do it very quickly with new people that never worked at Mobis before. Lots of crying, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just a, a lot of leadership and basically setting up my team correctly from the beginning. So. Normally, if I had a large team already, I could hire people that were inexperienced, I could hire people with lots of experience, um, but because I had to hit the ground running, almost everybody in my entire group has more than 20 years in lighting, some of them almost 30. The least experienced person in my group has 15 years of experience in lighting, so that's how I overcame it. I built a group that had a lot of experience and seen many, many different developments and they were able to work with Korea and work with our customer very smoothly, as smoothly as possible. Three personal strengths are experience, leadership, and confidence. Experience, like I said, I'm closing in on 30 years of lighting experience only. But on top of uh, my lighting experience, I also had a previous career where I was in manufacturing. So I developed uh, many plastic products prior to coming to lighting. So that, that was a key 
factor in my success that I've developed many plastic products in the past and then 25 plus years in lighting. I've pretty much seen everything. I've pretty much come across every type of situation that we're gonna see. So my experience plays a lot in being able to lead my team in the right direction and see the things that maybe we're gonna make a mistake, catch them early, try not to make the mistakes, try not to let the mistakes go too far. I've been told my leadership style is very nice. So uh, when I was at Automotive Lighting, over my 15 years there, I was in management for the last 10. Um, and I never lost an employee. Basically, my management style is uh, such that everyone knows what I expect from them, but at the same time, I'm very um, aware of not only their professional achievements, but their personal achievements and personal issues. I like to treat everybody like they're my friend. I try to make everybody feel like they're, they're heard, and it, when I can do something, I try to do that, right? My last personal strength, I would say, is confidence. My confidence comes from, like I've said, um, my experience being in lighting for almost 30 years. I've come across many different situations where the customer's not happy, where internally people are not happy. Just having the confidence of knowing that no matter what the issue is, we're always going to find a solution, use our experience, use our patience, you know, use our step-by-step -step process to get through it. it. Gives me a lot of confidence in lighting. The future for my group is to expand. In order to gain more customers, we have to have more resources and more capabilities in North America. We have to get more customers. We can't rely on just Stellantis, even though we love Stellantis. They're, they're, they're our best customer, right? Um, but we have to expand our customer base, win more business. And in order to support that business, we have to grow the group much larger. Yeah. My biggest advice to anybody is first find the part of engineering, if you're going to be an engineer, that really interests you. And at that point, have the patience to put up, you know, four, five, six years into it to really become an expert. And even if you don't stay in that forever, that expertise that you build from that will just give you that extra step or level up in your next career path. So uh, engineering needs lots of patience and, uh, and pay attention, right?